It was an agonizing moment for families of the 13 quarry workers who were killed in an attack in Mandela on Tuesday night. Such a tall order it was for these families that turned up at Shiromo Mochri to identify the bodies of their loved ones, that indeed they are no more. For some, the loss was too much to bear. For 25-year-old Masin Jerry, events of last Tuesday are still fresh in her mind. The mother of two lost her husband that she has lived with for the last 10 years and a man whose memories she says will forever remain embedded in her heart. Superintendent of Police Pius Mwachi from the National Disaster Management Unit, who is in charge of command at the mortuary, says only two bodies are yet to be identified as of Wednesday afternoon. So far here, about the, 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 the 13 uh, bodies, uh, we have 11 people who have come to report them as missing people so that they be identified to confirm they are still the same people they are looking for. So we are yet waiting for other two more. Leaders who visited the morgue to console the families maintain that all non-locals be evacuated from the insecure northeastern. Those teachers who say that they are not going back to Mandela, they are vindicated because those places are not safe. If they are targeting upcountry people, then I think the best thing for them is to teach, I mean to recruit their own people in northeastern province to act as teachers, to act as doctors, to act as artisans and all that. Because now enough is enough. We have lost enough of our people and I don't think there is any job that is more important than the lives of people each and every individual. Kwa hawa wamepoteza wa umezao, afadhali serikali wasaidie ile watoto, iwasaidie kusomesha, mpaka doto sa hawa wenye, wame, wenye wamefariki zitimie. Eh, eh, kwa sababu hawa ni mashuja. Sio kama wale wanaume wana relax tu. Eh, eh, ni mashuja wetu. They spoke as the European Union member states condemned Tuesday's Al-Shabaab terror attack that left 14 people dead. The EU member states are calling on the government to investigate the attack and ensure the culprits are brought to justice. One of the victims has since been laid to rest. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, Audit.